Were we watching a movie during the final? Yeah, he is. He dressed dress like an old woman. Like how I drive. Oh, yeah, with his like. Who? The like, unattractive thing about his car is that there's a Honda logo on his engine. I know, I know. And that's what's on his engine. <sighs> wow. Okay. I'm tired. What problem are we on? Uh, it's his own. More similarly. Yes, guys. Make fun of his grandchild. Mom got mad at me. No, that's not mine. Does that say 300? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was not happy. Like, there's no way. Good, good call. Good call. Uh, down. So B is that, that little yeah, line. B is 300 pounds. D is 6.5. This is 20 feet. Alright. Got a lot going on here. Alright. So again, this is something that is going to be very similar. 20. Wait, isn't this like the thing that we were having really bad? Yeah, yeah, really bad. We're not doing that? No, we've ran out of time. Well, Either that or we can cut stuff out of the fish detection tower. No, our fish detection tower is wrong. Thank you for telling me what to do. It's us. Supporting it. Okay. So, we've got a situation here. What would be. Alright, so we need to do some moments here. Right off the bat, first thing we should do is put our reaction. This isn't like the one on the test, is it? Yeah. It is like what the one on the final? Yeah. yeah. Like, like the one that we took on the test. Yeah. This is like it. This is the same one. One reaction force. So this is R, D, oh. and what direction is it? That's so. We practiced I like this. Here's our point A. We're going to have how many forces? Two. Okay, so we got a reactionary A, Y. We've got a reactionary A, X. We have Rax. Rax. Oh, my God. Rax. Rax. All right. I'm going to hit you. I wouldn't be so, do we have any... Right off the bat, we know what the reactionary force, the AX, is. Yeah, it's zero, because we don't have any forces that are perpendicular distance, okay, in the same direction. So right off the bat, we know RAX is equal to zero. So we'll just, that's fine, we're done with that one. Now, let's go ahead and solve for REY. So if I'm going to solve for REY, what am I going to set as my pivot point? A. Point A. So point A right here is going to be my pivot point. That's my pivot point. How many moments do I have to act with here? <coughs> Anybody? How many moments do we have to deal with here? No. At point A. Yeah, if point A, if point A is our pivot point, how many moments are we going to deal with? Three. Three. We're going to have a moment at B. A moment at D and a moment at E. Again, we're using our moments to calculate for R E Y. What's the equation for a moment? Force times distance. Force times distance. Is it right. 40 now, and 20? Remember, or 40 and 70. The sum this of the 20. moments oh. must equal zero. Alright? So, remember, the right hand rule. Okay? We have to go along with the force 
And then the thumb is pointing to us, it's a positive nice. force. The thumb is pointing away from us, it is a negative force. So this one, the force is going down, not a negative force. The thumb is away from us. Here, the force is going down. Again, it's that rotation that's up here at this point. Rotation is going down, thumb's away from us, negative. Here, force is going up, thumb's towards us, positive. All right, now this, the thumb rule only happens for moments. Okay, when we get into force vectors and the cross forces, that's, that's out of the way. All right, so, again, the way that I do this is I set them equal. I put the positive ones on one side, the negative ones on the other side. You set them equal to each other. Way to get it to balance out to zero. All right. Now, the negative ones we've got 300. We've got point B here. So, moment B will be right here. Plus moment D, and then moment E is a positive. Okay. Let's fill out the equation for moment E. What's our force at moment E? Or at E? Um. You said R E Y. You were correct. Yes. Yeah. 